Previously on Yakuza 4 Remastered. I sure did, old man. I sure did. Thanks for the sw- Oh, excuse me. Oh, they- They still like to sw- Holy shit. Uh, dude, really? I'm not even- I'm not even- Wait, what are you- What are you doing? Wait, what? What are you fucking- Why do you look at me like that? I wasn't even moving! And now back to... Uh... Kiryu? Kiryu? Kiryu! Sneako B! Back with some more Yakuza 4 Remastered. When we last left off, we got introduced to not Kiryu, this guy Akiyama. Yeah, apparently Kiryu's just not in this game. It's this guy, it's it's Akiyama's game now, bitch. Kiryu's fucking dead and he's never coming back. He got murdered by Budget Nishiki here. <laughs> I saw some of you guys say he does look a bit like Nishiki. You're right, he does a bit, doesn't he? He actually reminds me a lot of that one guy. Um, there's that one guy in Yakuza Zero. I, I don't remember much about him, but I remember he like like a he, there's a moment where he gets like a big wad of cash and like throws it into some dude's face. I think he's dead though, <laughs> if I remember correctly. I think he dies. But yeah, so we get introduced to uh, the Shun Aki Akiyama who uh, is a loan shark, but a kind of different one in that like he seemingly lends money to those who earn his respect. And when he does, he doesn't even charge any like interest or anything. And then seemingly, I guess maybe through his own charitable goodwill and I don't know, people maybe just pick up on that or, or think he's nuts. They just basically never borrow money from him ever again, which is kind of funny. It does kind of make me wonder though, just like the other guy was asking before, how does this guy actually make any money? But he does seem to also have his sort of finger maybe dipped in with some of the, the Yakuza uh, folks as well. Under what circumstances, I'm not quite sure yet. I guess just maybe lending money to them as well? I guess maybe that was the insinuation. Like, hey, pick up your slack guys because I, I put my money in with you. I don't know, but I like him already. He is, he's very uh, charismatic and kind of laid back, right? It's supposed to be compared to Kiryu. I also like his crazy kicks. He's very good at kicking. What you did see some of you guys say was apparently uh, has a lot of the inspiration behind Yakami's uh, crane style, which is also a lot of kicking. That would make a lot of sense. But I can already just tell you right off the bat, all right? The combat in this game is already infinitely better than Yakuza 3. Yes, this game definitely fixed the issue that Yakuza 3 had, where all the enemies just blocked everything you did, and your heat actions did, like, so little damage. Especially if you did them more than once. I mean, granted, yeah, in the other games, your heat actions do less damage when you repeated them, but in that game, it was like, you might as well just never do them again. You do them once, and then they do it again, and it does, like, like two damage. <laughs> it's, it was ridiculous. And even then, I think even... Like, by regular standards, your heat actions still did considerably less damage than they normally would in the other games. But I will say, you know what actually really sort of intrigued me was actually seeing the reaction by you guys about this game in particular. Because something I didn't realize is that apparently this game actually is notorious in its own ways. Sort of like Yakuza 3 was. It seems like it's maybe between Yakuza 3 and Yakuza 4 that have, like, for, that some people consider to be, like, not the best games ever. Apparently, some people think the main plot of this game is not like the best. I don't know. It was re it was really interesting because uh, it was sort of mixed. Some people actually thought this game's this game was like really good and one of their favorites, and others I saw say it was actually their least favorite. Huh? Really? I didn't actually hear much about that, honestly, before I started playing this. I absolutely heard a lot of that before I played Yakuza Three. Like I heard a ton of people say, "Oh yeah, that's the worst game in the series." So hearing people say suddenly say that four is their worst game in the series is actually kind of new to me, so maybe it's a little uh, more split than 3 was. Well, interesting. I wonder how I'm going to feel about it then in that regard. At the very least, I do like that I'm playing a different character and the gameplay feels really good and I like the character so far. We haven't really gotten far enough to see what the plot is. That said, though, I, something else I've sort of realized. So looking at the cover of the box, right, there are like there's Akiyama and Kiryu and two other dudes. And seeing as I'm controlling Akiyama, and I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to control Kiryu at some point. It actually is making me think then, are we actually going to play four characters in this game? Is that also why this is Yakuza 4, four characters? Is that what they were going for? Because if that's the case, holy shit, that's actually amazing. Definitely never played a game like that, and most of the other ones have only had like two, right? Like, Kwame 2 had his uh, control Majima in, like, an extra DLC. Lost Judgment has control Kaido in extra DLC. And Yakuza 0 had Majima and Kiryu. But to have four controllable characters, each with their own unique playstyles? If that's if that's what they're going with. I could be wrong. But there are four people staying in the forefront with Kiryu on the cover of the box. And one of them is the guy I'm controlling right now. So that's, uh, that would be something. 
That, that's, that again, that immediately actually makes me super interested because that's something that's never been done before. And also just the variety is, I think that sounds really neat. But anyway, last episode, uh, Akami no Din said, I love how they use cigarettes and lighters to symbolize character relationships, like how Keto and the other two small fries were using cheap plastic lighters that didn't work and never even considered using the bigger, more expensive lighter that was sitting on the table, probably because it's their boss's lighter. And how Rai pulls out a cigarette and a lighter and offers them to Akiyama, probably symbolizing that he respects him a lot. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, it didn't even occur to me. You're right. They're over there using their shitty lighter, which they can't even get to, to start when they walk in. And then when the boss comes in, they use this big expensive one that works immediately. And the fact that they offer it to Akiyama, that's actually a really good point. It's actually sort of subtle. There's a lot of that actually I've noticed throughout uh, playing a lot of these Yakuza and Judgment games. A lot of that sort of like unsaid visual storytelling that they've, I feel like as they go along in each game, they get better and better at that I really do appreciate. Very cinematic movie-like in, in that way. But Akami no Din, thank you so much for your uh, enlightening comment. And it's that reason you are comment of the day. But yeah, very interesting. I, I'll be very interested to see how I end up feeling about this game. Since uh, clearly there is a bit of a split about this game as well. I, I, I was not aware of. Man, this music is a bop though, isn't it? Holy shit, it's, like a, it's almost like a cowboy bebop vibe to it. Alright, so we see we have the lockers over here. I don't think I can actually... Uh, do anything with them yet i wonder if uh i wonder if this game gets a run like an actual run i think only yakuza zero and yakuza kiwami one i think kiwami one had it the one the game where you actually were able to like hold down x to like sprint i don't think three had that actually i'm pr almost positive it didn't um this game probably won't either then it might have been that yakuza zero is the first one to have that i, I really appreciated that that's it's, like it's never come back That guy's got the crazy eyes. There's someone with a gun outside Sky Finance. What the hell's going on? Uh oh. Oh, that's all. Shit. Well. That didn't go well. あんたが繰り落としていたチャンス。どうやら俺は呪い損ねたようだ。それじゃ。ガルさん。Who the? Ah, 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 are you, what are you like, old Yagami? Katagi-no-kata...ですよね?あなたは。ああ、そうだな。警察ってのは嫌な奴が多いとこです。捕まったら無理やり自白させられてしまうかもしれませんよ。話じゃん。ははははは。My <laughs> <laughs> Chucky Low Receptionist or something. Uh-oh. Yes, this is why you don't hang around a crime scene, Akiyama! What about the other guy? Yeah, he's a, he must be a detective or something, or a, pri a private detective. Uh, oh, Hello, <laughs>
Oh, okay, I was right there at the end. I could have just got a little further than uh, last video. I had a feeling maybe I was, but I didn't want to risk it. Okay. Cool, good start. So I ended up just killing that guy anyway. I mean, be fair, uh, it got did shoot him before. Yeah, I got that, that guy that came in actually was giving me some mega Yagami vibes. Yagami pre-Yagami. Chapter two, the one. <laughs> I am the one. The one, the one, the one, the one. Neo? Morpheus? Is that Akiyama? What the hell is he on the street now? Or is this like a flashback? Oh, it totally is. Oh, fuck. That's the scene from Yakuza 3. I think it's when Kashiwaki died. Yeah, I think it is. Free money! <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So you got affected by that. Is that how you got all the money then? Who bailed me out? Oh, probably my receptionist. You got that, ah, Bogugi Shangite. I know Kawaii Kawasta, my son of Buganogoni. Kaisa's in there. Ah, Hanachan no Kodoska. Yep. あの駆け込みでらだかなんだか知らねえが。てめえみてえに誰彼構わず金を貸すバカがいると、バカから金借りたバカが調子に乗って暴れんだ。これ以上俺ら警察の邪魔しないでくれよ。な。Don't touch me. ゲーム感覚ですか。そうだ。今回のドンパチもお前が絡んでたってことは悪いんだ。お前が遊び半分で金村連中を煽ってっから、こんなことになっちまったんだよ。杉内さん。ああ。俺はね、俺なりの信念
You really came through for me, Anachan. I appreciate it. He, by the way, Chief, why you been latching around in jail? Works been popping up like there's no tomorrow. Get back to the office now! <laughs> Her face in the portrait up there. Anachan, please. I barely slept a wink last night. I'm seriously wiped out here. News fault is that, hmm? All of that nonsense yesterday could have been avoided if you just did your job. Don't let you down this time, Chief. We have tons of work to do. Beep, beep. Anachan? Hello? She hung up on me. Might as well head back to Sky Finance. Am I free to run around the city now? Uh, I see no big red marker, so that's a good sign. What is the up and down thing? What, what is that? Save point and... I don't know. Let's go see. There's one right over here. Oh. Can I... I can actually... What? Oh. Oh. Whoa. See... Well, first off, seamless transition. Am I playing the dragon engine again? But also, oh my god, I can go down here? This has never happened before. I've never been able to come down here. It's always been just like some inconvenient fucking block or invisible force field that's prevented me from walking down to these areas. Whoa! Oh my god, there's a whole wide world down here. Suddenly I feel like I'm fucking playing Persona 5 again. Lady! I gotta talk to you! There's a store! Welcome! Oh my god! Oh my god, I can buy things! I can buy dresses for some reason! Can I buy Yuki's dress? This actually looks like the same dress, it's just not in the right color. Oh yeah, these are... Definitely based off uh, other uh, <laughs> uh, Hostess minigame dresses. Also, I just realized I have literally trash in my... <laughs> it's literally in my inventory here. Do I have a limited space? I don't know. I can't remember if, if I have to dry. I think I do, actually. Yeah, like I did in Yaxa 3 and some of the other ones. I don't know. It's been a while. It's oh, that guy's standing there waiting for me to fight him, isn't he? That's one of those dudes. Is there another... There's another set of lockers down here, too? What the fuck? Dude, my mind is blown right now. Fucking blown. And hey! Look! There's a key right here, right? Yeah, fucking... Hell yeah, the keys are out to play. Cool. Uh... I assume it's this, right? Yeah. Shin guards! Cool. Some shins for shun. Ha ha! Yeah, that's a good one. High five, brain. Woo! Where do these guards keep enemy legs from knocking you down to the ground? That sounds convenient. All right, they'll... All right, so yeah, we're back to now the days of... And this is what Yaxa 3 was like, too, where enemies are generally just staying there waiting for you. Is that... Can I actually run around him? I can, yeah, that's right. As long as they don't see you, you're fine. But I'll beat you up. You're the punk climber, some of our clowns best and price, ain't you? And you did right. Give you a token of appreciation, right, boys? I'm fine, man. I feel I feel great, all right? I can come down to the subway now. I can buy a subway sandwich. Because that's what they do in subway, right? Uh, 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 uh. Kicking. So much kicking. Anyway, something I've sort of picked up, and you guys also sort of inform me of, uh, looking at his moveset, is that Akiyama is clearly a taunt king. All of A lot of his moves involve taunting. Like, oh, yeah. Come here. Come on. Ugh, ow. Am I locked on the right one? I gotta... Oh, he's dead. Oh, let me throw this guy to the ground. Ugh. Okay, now. There you go. Yeah, like that. And it's actually supposed to be pretty good. It's actually something that might be worth considering here. I generally always forget, and like all the Oxy games, I honestly forget about the fucking taunt. So I never had, had fought, had you a guy though that actually like, that like was his way of maybe getting uh, uh, heat pretty uh, efficiently. Thou shared my parents, I'll mess you again. Take this, forget about it. Ooh, thank you, a promising toughness Z. All right, so I'm gonna start keeping an eye out now for keys, for the shinies. I can go, I can go further down? Where the hell am I going, to hell? Oh, it's a parking garage. Wow, what the hell? There's gotta be some main story shit. I couldn't do this in Yaxa 3 either. This is actually really cool, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I am sort of freaking out. I've always wondered what, what was it like? What, what is going on down in the subway? Is, for whatever reason, why can I never use it? 
Why is that like a mode of transportation or something? Yeah, so we got one over here and then assuming a little pathway over here too. That's cool. But I also bet there's keys down here. Oh, there's, a, there's actually a taxi cab down here too. That's convenient. Hey, there's one. Don't mind if I do. Oh, got another one. Can't be a little hard to see on this lighter ground. So does that mean there are there are keys for the underground lockers and keys for the above ground lockers too? That's a lot of lockers, man. Does that mean literally like double the lockers? Or is it just that like the they're the same fucking lockers just above and above above and underground for whatever reason? I don't know. I kind of don't believe that they'd have two sets of full lockers like that. Shit, I don't remember there was a, there was a guy with a blue icon over here, right? I meant to talk to him before I ran off earlier, but uh, forgot. A uh, heartbroken man. Well, how long I wait for her? I know she won't come. Ever starts ending so fulfilling, so I'm not. Our story is full within the ladder, I'm afraid. But an unfulfilling dream ending doesn't need to be sad. It's really an end. Ugh. Finished and completed. Uh, finished and check mark and complete. Stars are two different indicators that a substory has been cleared. They appear under substories in the pause menu. Finished in case a less satisfying ending to the substory. Oh, interesting. I think I remember. Was this in three as well? I wonder if it's easy to accidentally fuck up like that. Actually, I don't know if that was. I don't know. Is this new? I'm finished up story will still count towards your completion list. Time to start another chapter in the story of my love life. First drink in the champion district. Maybe two drinks. I like how it actually gives me uh, EXP as well. It's a nice incentive. Even if you've, you know, seen these tips before. I already knew this. Damn it, seriously? I swear there are never any open lockers in this stupid place. I think once trust you if you're lucky. Did I get up earlier or something? Don't make the coin lockers. Yep. These coin lockers were once rented out by those who needed them, but all their keys have been lost. The skis are scattered around Cabarocho, lie on the road and hidden behind objects. Whoever finds the keys is the right to obtain whoever's inside the locker. Find keys by entering first person mode with R3. Since once you have the key, go back to the lockers to find what's inside. Uh. All right, first in line on the ground, maybe you can do something with it. Oh, locker key radar? No, whenever I see a guy with a big green afro walk around through this area, the next day all the lockers are in use. Something going on here, I know it. Oh, that's right, yeah, it's... You can, is this like help you find them in some way? I don't know why if they're specifically saying you have to go in first person. You can see them normally, I think it's just maybe a little easier. Oh, wait, no, 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 I remember now. No, 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 they're... That's right. There are some keys that for whatever reason are like in the fucking air. They're like on signs and shit. It's not just on the ground. Later they do. Later they, they do just make them on the ground. But that was the, the first time I ever came across that was in Yaxa 3. Which got really fucking weird and made it kind of annoying at times. But that's nice. They, do you just wrap the back in me? Hey, we are beefs on the locker keys nearby. Holy shit, that's super convenient. Interesting, yeah, so the, it does seem like there's two separate lockers. That's kind of nuts. Oh shit, is this thing gonna be beeping, beeping the whole time? I think it might be. Oh, hey. Okay, I had to be pretty close for that. Did that really mean I was that close in this area here? Oh, yeah, there it is, right there. I just, oh wait, I have, to, I have to look at it. Okay, good, it only, it actually really does only beep if you're actually near it. Good. Is this one over here too? Wait, isn't it like the tree or something? Oh, nope, over here. Okay, I don't... I think you did get a key thing, but I think you had to find it or something uh, in the Oxa 3. You didn't get it, like, right off the bat. Convenient. Very convenient. Give me some free shit. Ooh, a hyper stun gun. Spicy knife! Oh, that's interesting. Wait, what? The doors don't stay... Oh, wait. Oh, the doors aren't open. They have a key next to them. I see. The other games, I think, like, the door stays, like, opens, to, and it's made a lot easier to tell if you got one. This was not quite as obvious. I said, like, 100 emails a day, so this is what did I tell you. Give me emails organized by folder. That way you won't get all flustered when you get, like, 40 all at once. In addition to receiving emails from the people you know, you may also receive an e-zine emails packed with useful information from time to time. 
Emails that re received are separate into categories, make it easy to find specific messages. We also reply to emails from hostesses, so be sure to keep an eye on any messages and reply quickly. Hey, reply away, I'm gonna do the same. Thank you, random lady, for the amazing tidbit. Oh, there's one. Oh, we're seeing that. Okay. I do I still have to be relatively close to it though. For me to pick it up, that's right. In, even in first person mode. Ooh, sweet, soft garbage. Thank you. My favorite. Uh manhole, huh? This list you have for me to lift up and open. Oh. Go down in the sewers again? Also, another one. Oh! It's always one in the fucking trees. Damn, dude, you okay? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, fuck me! I got shit so fucking bad when you open this door! You're in the fuck up! I gotta go so bad! Oh, come on! He's fine. He'll, he'll, he'll be fine. Okay. Jim's locker key's in the fucking ventilation. Ugh, oh, can't walk much further. Man, I see the tax you'd be having on Earth. If I walk home, I use money used to save by beer decisions. decisions. There are six total, uh, locations in total where you can take a taxi. Yeah, yeah, I fucking know. Leave the city. All right, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the tour, but more importantly, experience. Man, they're really going for, uh, user friendliness here, aren't they? There's a fucking key around here. It's driving me nuts. Where is it? I hear you, but I do not see you. Oh, there it is. In the fucking corner. I wonder what the purpose will be if you're getting all this garbage. Like, it literally says garbage for all of it, too. I don't know if this is going to be used for crafting or not. Generally, I don't think I ever really used garbage, specifically. But it's a tutorial homeless man! Yeah, hey there! Thanks for all the great beer and liquor! You should come join us for a picnic when the chair blast start blooming. We'd do some more drinking! Oh, but you seem like you got lots of enemies, Akiyama-san. Hey, keep you protected until springtime, but you better start, start bringing drinks to the other guys, too! By eating and drinking in certain stores or help, helping certain people with their problems, you gain allies. I was going to tell you about special menus or help you when you get into battles around town. Work hard to know, get to know people around town and truly become the face of Kamarocho. Cool. Yeah, actually, that, I remember that did happen, I think, in 3 as well. But I feel like it was less frequent. I don't remember ha like those like tag team uh, heat actions happening a ton. He really had to be like in a very specific spot. Oh, man, these TVs are amazing. Truly the most precious valuables. I guess I'm staring at them. I gotta memorize everything about them. Uh, zoom in on valuables with X. You can also view equipment recipes at any time with X. Wait, what? I can look at my, like, in a 3D viewing thing? Oh, pfft. <laughs> really? I need it. Oh, yes. I gotta zoom in on my JPEG here. Cool. Thank you. Very helpful tutorial. Oh. I can open it. Okay. Well, there's the uh, secret area. Coming back into play here in some way. Oh, hey, here's Kamiyama's shop. Hey, you're here. I make weapons. Here, it'll be real helpful in battle, I promise. Also, you have the right materials I can make you new weapons. Here, take this recipe. It's like a blueprint. Without one of these, I can't make anything. Secret to promotion. Kissing ass! Modify your weapons and gear accessories here. Start packing all the required materials and make a selection on the mod menu to modify equip, uh, equipped items. You design from a book or DVD, a weapon or piece of equipment to mod, materials with which to complete it, and the funds to cover Kamiyama's costs. Check the required weapons. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I think I heard you, some of you guys say that apparently um, I can't actually really do uh, or equip many weapons as Akiyama here. He only has like, he only equip like two or something. Ha <laughs> ha I see what you did there. Ha 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 ha. Sparkle on top of the Christmas tree here. Hmm. Yes, you might do. Yes. Oh, uh, no, no. This is far too unscrupulous. Yes. Are you to find the perfect host too? Come on. Come now. Take a, take a look. Just knowing about these girls is enough for me. Go to an actual host club. Perish the thought. Well, if I met them, the perfect image of my mind would be ruined. Ruined? No, it's not a matter of preference. My own personal principles. I'm sure someone like you can handle the disappointment, though. Thanks. The MEDB is an information spot. I'll you to excellent hostess for free. You also learn about the most popular girls. All right. Uh, yeah, 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 all right. Or you just, you know, just go there. Perfect, simply the pinnacle of womanhood. Till you finally come, oh, yes. Yeah, really oh, neat. Never been up here before. Come over to a west top roof. Also, there's a key up here somewhere. All right, there we go. One in the fountain. That's pretty expansive, so there's a, there's a rooftop system as well. Some roofs over here and over here. 
Wow. Yeah, they really uh, expanded the map a bit. It's pretty cool. I don't think I can go leaping off the building, though, like I could as Yagami. Yagami, the crazy psycho, just jump off building, nigga. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of keys up here, too. They blend in with all the white. No. Oh. Dude, what the fuck? There's a key right around here. I don't know any anywhere it is. Holy shit, I have no clue, dude. I have no clue. I see nothing. What are you beeping at me for? There's... L what are you talking about? What? I can't even see it, bro. What the fuck? That's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. No wonder I couldn't find it. Jesus Christ, dude. All right, we're back. <laughs> I took the rooftop back to Sky Finance. Because clearly that was the fastest way. Don't forget to eat, Chief. Uh, my receptionist lady seems nice, even if, if not slightly neurotic. Oh my god. Uh, Got our microwave, Akiyama. Yeah, I'm looking hella different there. What happened to you, Akiyama? You had the world on your shoulders. And your hair was shorter. Ah, sumimasen. Okiyasan desu ka? Dozo, dozo. Ah, ano? Hey. ファイナンスってこちらでよろしいんでしょうかええ。ああ、ここちょっとわかりにくい場所ですもんね。あ、そうだ、ウォンウォンでしたのフォトウェアです。どうぞ。どうぞ。お掛けください。だ、ビハレ
あのええこちらあの Spit out, lady. What? 保証人や担保なしで無制限にお金を貸してもらえるというのは本当でしょうか無制限ですかどちらでそのような話を言えないと。That was him in the photo, right? まあいいでしょう。Doesn't seem like、he's... 多分、あなたへの融資を断った同業の他社の方にでも聞いたんでしょうから。Right, like、he met this うちの店は金貸せないけど、あの店なら貸してくれるかもよって。どうせ他にもいろいろ吹き込まれたんでしょう。うちの店は同業の人たちにはあんまり評判良くないでしょうからね。<sighs> で、おいくらほど必要なんですかあ、あのあのライターお借りしてもいいですかえええどうぞそういう人がジャックドップあいや、カムロチョニシしては変わった名前のお店だなと思いましてそうでのお店にお世話になっていたことがありまして。うーんそっちの業界長いんですかええまあそれなりにでいくら必要なんですかえとりあえずいくら貸してほしいのか言ってくれなくちゃこっちも話のしようがないんで。現金で1億円10日以内に私に融資していただけませんでしょうか1億ですかはいご証人はいません担保もありませんふ保証人なし担保なしそれで現金一括で1億円ねあんたさ自分の言ってることの意味分かってんのいややっぱり無理ですよねそんな話そうですよねすみません私どうかしてましたこの話忘れてくださいお時間取らせてしまってすみませんでしたそれじゃちょっと待った<笑>貸さないとは言ってませんよまあゆっくりお茶でも飲みながらお話ししませんかなあ、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、The test gets more difficult depending on the loan amount and terms. In your case, well. The test will be hard. You got it. 
But if you pass, I promise to loan you the amount you want under the terms you specified. Okay. You must juggle for me. Test to go cock shinakereba. You should still go to a decay. Was a Saki Tokai night did the girl. Somebody another. Soon you can get a seal on the only. Hi. You saw it in the only. Hi. So this. The more test on you caranagatra. Chug that tea. Hi. Yarasuka.本当にいいんですね。私にはもう他の選択肢はないんです。お願いします。そのテスト受けさせてください。Wait, here to come phone call. Mind if I take this? Go right ahead. From my busy body receptionist. Sky Finance. Oh. Oh, uh, is this Akiyama san? Kita chan. Where are you? Is everything okay? I'm down at the Kamarocha precinct. They just finished grilling me about Ka Kanamura san. Kanamura? What did they do doing questioning you? I'm the one who found him. Walked back in the office, and there he was. Dead. Dead. Sorry I had to see that. But hey, it hasn't exactly been smooth sailing on my end either. Speaking of, I take it you've heard about Arai-san by now. Yeah, some tictor named Suguichi told me. I still can't wrap my head around it. Me neither. Listen, we shouldn't talk about this stuff over the phone. You free to meet up later? Yeah, got some questions I want to ask you too. Sure thing. Think you can call me back in a few though. I'm just finishing up with a customer. Oh, yeah, no problem. Talk to you soon. Sorry about that. She's another one of my customers is in a bit of a pinch. It's fine. So, back to business. Ten days, hundred million yen. That's right. Understood. In that case, can I ask you to swing by again tomorrow? I'm gonna need a little time to mull that test over. Okay. Come prepared, though. We'll be starting right when you get here. I will. Pre prepared for what? That's for me to decide. So, I just. I think I'm going to ask. あの、お名前、お名前聞いてもよろしいですか。リリー。リリー。リリーと言います。リリーさんですか。それは本名？それともお店の名前？言わないとダメですか？いえ、いいです。<笑> 明日のご来店お待ちしてます。Interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and slide up these stairs here. Hey, it's Akiyama. Sorry to spring on you last minute, but I'm bringing a new girl into the club. She starts tomorrow. But she actually shows up, that is. Rearrange the shifts, shuffle things around. I don't care how much you do it. Just make it work. Look, I know how to run my business. Besides, I already made up my mind. Don't let me down. Later. 
Sorry, no. Majma. <laughs> Balls in her cord now. Oh, gee. He actually decided to show up today. Good to see you too, Hanachan. What the hell is that? You have access to a hideout. Yes. Is that a seat? Here you can save your game. Move items to the item box. Reminisce on past events and view your play stats. The more your health will recover while at a hideout. Huzzah. I don't have to listen to music or something like some dumb... Some dumb judgment shit. No. I just fucking walk in the door and I'm healed. Maybe I'll walk around town while I wait for Kita's John to call me back. I can't talk to you though. Oh, uh, okay. I'm reading some of the bio information here. It sort of helped me confirm some... Some, uh... Some bits I was a bit unsure about. So the Patriot are the third tier group of the Tojo clan. Hiroshi Kanamura showed a little potential for advancement, had problems with collecting tribute money, got by with money borrowed from Akiyama under special loan terms that required him to retire and make Arai his successor. There you go. Kido discovers his murder on the night of the incident with the Ueno Saiwa Club at Club Elnerd. I see. That's, that's what was going on. Manages Kanamura Enterprise for the unambitious Kanamura has the trust of Kido and the others due to his honesty and integrity. Akiyama, whom he has known for years, believes he will become a Yakuza as great as the Dragon of Dojima. Escorted Kanamura's superior Shibata on his suspicion of the Kamurcha Hills the construction site. Heads to Club Elner to defuse the disturbance caused by the Ueno Saiwa clan members, but is shot by Ihara instead and sustains injuries. Pursues Ihara and shoots him to death. Arrive runs from the crime scene. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, let's go for a walk around town and look for more keys. Doesn't that sound fun, Hanachan? I know it does to me. I've already found a shit ton. I need more. More! It's probably one over here in the fucking alleyway. Always is, right? Come on. Oh. I sense it. I sense it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. God damn it. You can't even see it from this, this angle. Just a stare underneath it and pray to God. Who the fuck? Hello? Like, yo, what's up? It's me. Is that a good time? Yep. We're all in the clear. What's up? Something I gotta talk to you about. Might if we meet up for a few? Not at all. Where at? How about the building in Theater Square? You know, the real one down the alley? Lots of privacy there. Anyway, it's the one right across from the movie theater. I'll be waiting up on the roof. Roof on the red building. Got it. Perfect. See you there. Sounds like I should head over to Theater Square. Okay. Wait, another one. Am I standing on it? Oh, I am standing on it. Hello there. Oh, I think, uh, I think sub stores have popped up. They have. Holy shit, a bunch did. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Fucking six just popped up. And it's a Toro lady. Ah, uh, Admiral Nami son, me, I have my fortune told. She's got this weird green Africa on her side. There's rumors that she doesn't really pay, tell her your fortune. Press is super high. Naomi's pals provides the following services. Receive item packs and receive comp completion rewards. Oh, is this a replacement for Babu Tomoki, bitch? Or Babu Subanoshi. I'll speak with Naomi. I hear rumors about happenings around town. Over here? What the? What? Akiyama speaking. Oh, Chief, I'm so glad I called you. Why? What's up? There's a customer who wants to see you. Seems kind of important. Come and come back to the office. Yeah, hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Is that another sub story? Or is that main story? Oh, I think that was one of the, I think I actually triggered one of the sub stories and I didn't realize it. Uh, Bobby just stands around here. Oh, wait, you? No, you're somebody else. Why so say hello and some more of the coverage underground where most store people know about parking lots and underground malls. This is coming down to Gabriel. It's the amateur little leaguers the best. Big lead know the, the whole deal about sewers and underground railway. Hey, you're a place we haven't discovered yet. The underground area contains essential commercial locations such as the underground mall and the parking lot. Also remember that some homeless people have made new underground their home. Perhaps you'll discover the truth on these rumors and explore the underground. Or maybe you'll die trying. We know the underground garage. Actually, I'm curious, uh... Oh. Boy, I leveled up! From talking to that man! Also... What? Oh! There it is! Fucking hell! Actually, I wonder if there are question marks down here, too. Alright, scolding glare. Great, 
Glare an opponent while uh, they're grabbed to greatly increase your heat gauge. Okay. Taunt enemy while you stand to greatly increase your heat gauge, really, while standing up. That's interesting. I'm on the ground, but I'm going to taunt you. Taunt master. Those who master the art of taunting increase the rate in which heat gauge rises when taunting. Wow. The counterattack executed while downed. Sounds good. Oh, shit, I got a lot of locker keys. I think it, it seems like there are locker keys on the roof and underground that are specifically for these ones. And the ones that are around Kamurocho are for the ones up there. That's a lot of fucking lockers. But to be fair, not think about it. Other games have had other locations, right? Yeah, uh, Yakuza 3 had Okinawa as well. And that had its own set of lockers too, I believe. So I guess this actually isn't any different. Maybe that's maybe that's what it is then. Maybe that's like this is counting as the other location or a, or another location is the underground area of uh, Kamurocho. Okay, roll card. Where the key master? What was that? Open five lockers. Go me. Body swat armor. South Paul bracelet. Red jewel. That's used for crafting, I think. Actually, no, that's used for um gambling. A tote bag. A uh, blue Firefox or blue fox. Protective amulet. Oh shit. Yep, I've got limited inventory space. I should get rid of all this garbage. Gauntlets. Mystery liquid. Chance stone. Small motor. And Red Shark. More golf clubs. Oh. Oh, is there a golfing mini game here? Those, that didn't take up inventory space. Is that considered a valuable? It is. Red Shark, Blue Fox. A set of clubs for maximum carry and maximum control. Hey, cool. Must be like a hit it on the green thing. Or actually, no, that's right. There was golfing Yaksa 3. We go to the golf course and stuff. That was actually the first time I think we'd ever seen that mini game, which was kind of cool. It's a food magazine called Camaro Gourmet. Should I read it? Oh. Neat. Food, food magazine called Camaro Gourmet. It's showcases cool place to eat and coupons for great deals. Sure. What is this for? I know they, they brought some of the tutorial thing before, but what does it actually do? Can't use here. Uh... Do you see it like as like coupons for shops or something and it gives me a discount? Is that what it means? Watch carefully, figure out which person will come with you. Keep your eyes to train on them and let and them alone and go for the chase. How to be a good barker. What? Press L3 and R3. Wait. And put L3 and R3 are pressing the left stick or right stick. Uh, yeah, I know that. Zoom in on the, oh fuck's sake. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking tell me the controls. Was that really that new of a concept on the by the PS3 era? Come on. I think we all know what L3 and R3 are at this point. This isn't my first my first video game. Video game. I got the Mahjong place, and hey, there's a key in here too. Yeah, you anything interesting here? No, they just got plates. Really? Nothing no cool exchange for anything? Yeah. Alright, time to sell the plate I got from the start of the game. I mean I sold hundred uh, K right off the bat. Yeah, I can sell this bag for 60k too. Back, man. Yeah, I thought I'd be living the dream, huh? Why I look so down? Well, I came all the way here to the land of cherry blossoms to study Japanese. Half the people in this town don't even speak it. Especially when you go west of Shampi industry to Little Asia. What Asia doing in my Jap Japan? I try to go in, but they yell at me for some foreign language and shoot me away. This is Japan. Speak Japanese. Non-Japanese speakers. The gatekeepers at the entrances to Little Asia don't speak Japanese. However, a character who can speak other prominent Asian languages, such as Chinese, Korean, or Tagalog, might be able to talk their way in. What? Another care? Oh, okay, that, that, that seals it then, right? I'm pretty sure that's not Kiryu. No, it totally is. This game is like, it's gonna have like four, I guess because they were they thought big, right? They're like, we're at Yakuza 4 now, man, right? We gotta think bigger, guys, all right? We gotta go in hard. Four Yakuza's. Four new protagonists, or three, I guess, on top of Kiryu. That's pretty cool. So that means that there's gonna be like some characters that get into to some areas that others can't, I, I assume. I'm assuming that's what that means. All right, let's check back in on this uh, mysterious new client. The woman came back. She forgot her sunglasses. Oh, hi, Chief. You have a customer waiting. The one you told me about on the phone. Got it. Thanks. Apologies for the wait. So, tell me, what brings you here today? Oh. Are you Yakiyama-san? You provide interest-free loans here, is that right? Indeed I do. 
And so there are a few conditions. May I ask your name? Ishiobara! Uh, how much are you willing to lend out? Er, usually. Mind tell me why you need the money first. That'll help me decide whether or not I should give you the loan. Oh, not too long ago. I drove my pretty company to the bankruptcy. I inherit the place of my father, you see. This time, I figure I'll start my own company on the ground up with blackjack and hookers. You ran your, fa your father's company to the ground? I made money, but I don't have to get out of the red. In the end, all I could do was downsize. But downsizing isn't always the best option, you know? The company was already on its way under. If our only available option was downsizing, wouldn't it have been better just to pull the plug? At least cowardly to fire people just to try and keep a company artificially afloat. So I took responsibility for my bad management and let the place go bankrupt. No hard feelings are all around, right? I see. Spoken like a typical spoiled heir. Huh? <laughs> I said to myself quietly, The old company doesn't matter now anyway. It's fucking dead. But the poor is getting this new company off the ground. So, we owe me some money? Give me the money! Not against the idea, but why come to me? Can you get your bank to cover it? Yeah. I guess I didn't pass the review. They asked me what business the company would be in, but I hadn't decided yet. It's not gonna lie, that's for sure. Still haven't figured it out, huh? Huh? What? You need planning documents too? Don't you loan sharks usually skip all that formality crap? No, it's just... Never mind. How much did you need? Let's see. How about three? No. Five million! Why so much? But now I think about it, you probably have no idea how much you really need. <sighs> what the hell? I'll lend you the five mil. No interest, no collateral. <laughs> Seriously? You're not pulling my leg or my dick, are you? But first, you're gonna have to pass my test. <laughs> sure, bring it up, bitch! I don't know what kind of test you're talking about, but I'll do anything you ask. I'll suck your dick if I have to. All right, so you want to start a company, be its president. In that case, I'll need you to. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Choices. Find three business partners, bring me ten presidents' business cards, invite a hostess here after the club closes. Uh, oh, God. I saw a thing before about the, the sub-stories. I'm afraid of, to make the wrong choice here. I'll just say find three business partners. Find three people to be your business partners and bring them to me. Business partners? Three of them? Is that really all you need? Yeah, people would be happy to help build a, up a company. What do you think? Can you do it? What are you talking about? I've got tons of friends. It won't take long at all. I'll be right back, okay? Better get that five million ready for me, bitch. Oh boy. Chief, I couldn't help it over here. Are you really going to lend money to that piece of work? He's nowhere near fit to start a company. You think so too, huh? Tell you the truth, I agree. He's all talk. You see a lot of that nowadays. So you never plan on giving him a loan in the first place? Then what bother with the test? Uh, I'll lend him the money. But only if he passes. I'm going to teach him it's a rough world out there. Mm. But what if... I, I mean, just on the off chance. Don't worry about it. A big mouth like him could never hope to pass one of my tests. You know, Hannah-chan, a man might have lots of people he calls friends, but I doubt many of them would actually be willing to risk their livelihoods on him. He says it'll be a cinch to find three of them, but unless he's especially trustworthy or charismatic, they won't be on board. <sighs> Welcome back. So, where are those three partners? I just don't understand. <gasps> Nobody does! I told them I could easily pull a hundred million a year if they didn't left just leave anything to me! Uh, so you failed the test. Yeah. This is not my fault. It's theirs. It's their own fault! They're just too blind to see it! And after all those times, they beg for an invite to my parties, too! Parties? Huh. My online game parties! You mean you haven't heard? They're all kind of a big deal! They call me Hurricane Salt! What the fuck? I... see. Well, it hardly matters at this point. You weren't able to pass the test, which means our loan discussion is over. My apologies. Hi, John. Would you mind showing Shiobara son out here out? It's time for him to go. Hi. Of course. Right this way, sir. Wait a second! You told me you know all about me! You know about me for one lousy test! Who do you think you are? A god? A <laughs> god? Please! I count on you! Give us one more chance! One more! Please! I'm begging you. Let me try again. I swear I'll take it out a whole lot more seriously this time. <sighs> we have other business to attend to, you know. But it doesn't look like you'll be leaving anytime soon, so... All right. One more time. Oh! Okay, uh... Maybe we're gonna be doing all these then. 
Bring me 10 t b precious business cards. I'm sorry, that's a goofy one. Bring me business cards of 10 company presidents. Any comp kind of company will do. 10 business cards? Is that really all you need? Corporate CEOs, presidents of small factories, take your pick. Just find 10 of them, get their cards, and bring them here. You sure? This sounds pretty easy. I mean, I used to be a president myself. I got 20 or even 30, no problem. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Well, good luck. Now, see you soon. I'll be right back, okay? Better get the five million ready for me! Oh, great. How are you gonna fuck it up this time? Chief, why are you giving him a second chance? Usually send someone, somebody like him well on his way by now. He's just so stoutingly clueless. Don't you want to see how it all ends? Not particularly. Look at him from my perspective. Whoa. You always forget to collect on your loans. Too many bonated customers like him and I'll be up on my neck at extra work. And I appreciate every last ounce of work you do, Hanachan. Don't I always treat you to a delicious meal at the end of every month? I guess you can do what you want. It is your company, after all. If it were you, Hanachan, how would you go about collecting 10 President's cards? Hmm. Mm. Well, I'd probably pop into an office building and talk to a company president directly. A frontal attack, huh? Good answer. As for me, I'd probably grab a hold of a president or two, take them to a print shop, and have them make me some cards. A little aggressive, maybe, but yeah, that sounds like a something you do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Hell, I could even have a print shop make a bunch of fake cards if I wanted. <laughs> Your straightforward method requires courage. Well, my calls, my, my way calls for quick wit. Regardless, the daddy's capable of either. And he's back. It's been all two minutes. Welcome back. So, you got those cards? Yeah. I only have one. My father's. What are the CEOs I knew at my company arena at the, in this town? Are there any company presses here? So the businessmen and restaurant, restaurant, restaurants. Actually, you're looking at one. Sorry my parents deceived you. Well then, since you weren't able to pass the test, I'm afraid I won't be giving you the loan after all. Ah, uh, John, would you mind showing Gio Barosan out here out? It's time for him to go. Of course, right this way, sir. Wait, just a fucking damn it, second! I just was all set up all wrong. I can do better, I promise. Please, I got on you. Blow it just one more. Oh, all right, but only one more. I've only got one more option here, so this is the last one. Now then, invite a hostess here after the club closes. <laughs> Invite hostess out after the club closes and bring her back here to the office. <laughs> that sounds fully doable. I, 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 the other one's okay, maybe a little bit of a stretch, but this one's, you can do this, come on. A hostess club? That's it? I'm swinging the girl here and 500 million is mine? I don't know. Oh, come on. Should be a piece of cake for a guy like you. What's the problem? I just turn off the cash. Hostess clubs are expensive, you know? It's a real shame. And all kinds of girls trailing after me if I just had the money. I'd be like the Pied Piper of Camarocho. Guess I'll have to point you over to my friend's hostess club then. You can put it on my tab. The place is called Sweet, over on Pink Street. Just tell them Akiyama sent you and they'll take care of the rest. Don't get too trashed. Really? You can't do it without money, right? Well, I'm making that particular problem go away. So what do you think? Can you do it? Yes, of course. No problem at all. I'll bring you the best host of the club. I'll be right back, okay? Bring it up for me! Ah, oh, God damn it. Chief, enough's enough. I've never seen you give anybody this many chances. I suppose you're right. But it's all just so interesting. Don't you think? Guys are walking disaster. <laughs> he just he just wants to see what crazy shit happens next. This is funny. Chief! Why'd you send him to a hostess club? I'll just go out and have fun and on your tab no less. The first time visitor to a hostess club hardly ever manages to invite a girl out afterward. Anybody who succeeds is either rich or a smooth talker. But this guy's broke, so... So he has about a 0% chance of pulling this off. We don't know that. I mean, he might fall into some crazy beginner's luck. That would be a miracle. Well, if he pulls off a miracle at a time like this, it'll be a first of many. Luck is just another kind of talent. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe. But even so, if that guy gets his own very own miracle, then he's one of the most talented men I've ever met. And he's back. Uh, I saw the greatest titties ever. Welcome back. So, where's that hostess? Uh, the club is no good. The girl at my table only said a few words and clammed up almost immediately. What a bitch. Isn't it her job to get the conversation going? I'm the customer. The bad customer. 
Yeah, paying with someone else's money. Yeah. Seriously, though, any other club and I would have been eating out of the palm of my hand. All boils down to a back club. Even if we were to assume it was the club's fault, you still didn't manage to pass the test. That means I won't be giving you the loan, all right? Get the fuck out of here. Hot huh, job, would you mind showing Shibara son here out? It's time for him to go. Of course, this way, the door behind you that you've now left through like four times. Wait a second, if you just let me try it over chest, I'm positive my pass with fly colors. Please, I'm counting on you. Just give me one more chance, one more. It's always just one more with you. I've given you three chances already. No matter how many times you try, you'll never pass. All right, so leave. I'm tired of having to string along a big talking nitwit. Yeah. Please, this is it. My very last chance. If you give up me now, I'm finished. Finish! We just leave already. I'm positive I could build a company that will never ever need to downsize. You really want to start your own company, don't you? Are you sure you're being entirely honest with me? And with yourself? Absolutely. No lies and no excuses, period. Fine. This is your honest to goodness last chance. You fail, you leave. Got it? Uh. Got it! I'll pass it for sure this time, you'll see. Okay, here we go. My friend's leaflet company is in the red. If you can get it to turn a profit again, I'll lend you the five million yen. But that could take years! The door's right there if you're not interested. What's it going to be? You in or out? All right, where's this leaflet company? Anyway, it's Paradise Advertising on West Shishifuku Street, just past the M store. Let me give him a call. Hello, Paradise Advertising. This is Akiyama over at Sky Finance. Akiyama-san, to what do I owe the pleasure? You've been asking for management advice, right? I found just the man for the job, and I promise he will not fuck everything up like he's doing right now. Name is Shibara-kun. I'll be sending him to your way shortly. Really? Shibara-san, is it? Thank you so much, I'll be waiting. Now it's all up to you. Paradise Advertising is on West Shifuku Street. I'm sure you'll see you when you get there. Uh, all right, I'll be back with a vengeance! Sato. Chief, are you sure about this? That's one heck of a test. Isn't Paradise Advertising really doing really bad right now, business-wise? Stuck of the red even though there's sales remain strong and steady? Yeah, that's right. Unit sales go through the roof. The expenses are always higher. Which means their only choice is to downsize and cut their... Yep. All they can do is downsize. And our friend, Shibara-kun, who would rather see a company die than shrink, will now be forced to do just that. You're a bad man, Chief. You're a bad, dirty, naughty, naughty man! I don't like you said it like that, but yeah, you're right, I am. Cause shock therapy. If you can't do this, he's hopeless. Mm, shock therapy? Do you think you should go check up on him, just in case? You never know. Well, if you insist. Do you remember where Paradise Advertising is? The West End of Shichifuku Street? Just pass the M store, right? I'll be fine. I've been there plenty of times. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Hold down the fort till I get back. This guy's gonna be like fucking dead in an alley or something. You ruined my business! You ruined it up! Oh, I think this might be... If I remember right, I think the way this actually works is that, like, the question marks only show for the first... For the first part of the quest, like, finding it, and then you have to kind of, like... To know where to go next, you literally have to sort of, like, figure that out yourself. That's how I think it was in Yakuza 3 as well. On West Shishifuku Street. Yeah, so, over here. You think I know where all the streets are the, in this game at this point? How many times I've played play through this fucking city? Oh, hey. Oh, you go to a golf course and go to the docks. For, uh, fishing as well. Neat. I'll mess around with the golf course another time. Yo, what's going on? Oh, Akiyama-san. Well, the Shibara guy sent over showed up. He watched him blustering about he was going to put me in the black. When I showed him in the books, I guess he ran out of steam. Well, thing is, he'd inherited his father's company, but didn't want to downsize. Because of what, that, he wound up running the place into the ground. Building ruined his father's business just to avoid downsizing? Hmm. Say, Akiyama-san, do you think that'll happen to my place, too? Most likely. It appeared over your books last time we talked. You'd be hard-pressed to get any more profit. And you've cut all the corners you can. The only thing left to do is... Just downsize, I know. Well, it may be true, but still. These people have been with me from day one. 
I've got to be frank with you here. It's your job as president to make this decision. Guess you're right. Oh, another thing. Do you know where Shibarakun went? Not exactly. He was walking toward Children's Park, though. He was. Thanks. I'll stop by again sometime soon. <laughs> Damn, Akiyama laying down the hard truth here. Now there is all sad. Well, did you think of a way to get them back on track? What's wrong? You dropped by Paradise Advertising, yeah? You knew all along, didn't you? Knew what? Huh? You sent me to that company knowing full well that the only thing they could do was downsize. They have sufficient sales and good management. They take all the late little orders they can. I don't see how they could possibly bring in any more money. Which means that they have to reduce their expenses. Employee salaries have already been slashed and there's simply no more fat to trim. Huh. The president is a real go-getter too. He's for steam books, has great employee morale, and still he's stuck in the red. Now that sounds like the CEO you claim to be. You're looking in all the right places. If we need to reduce expenses, then there's only one thing left to, to, to cut. Personnel costs. In other words... Hey, if it is an old she Giobar's idiot son, I'm not surprised there you here. You... You work for my father's company. Oh shit. Oh god. So you remember me, do you? Well, thanks to you bringing down your old man's business, I'm still have a job, piece of shit. But I hated the other downsides and close the place down. My hands were tied and I... Well, then you should have downsized, you dumb shit. Think your way, way was more noble? My hands were tied? Ha! Think that's gonna make up for all the hardships you cause. It's because a manager downsizing is... Does it make you proud that you didn't downsize your spit, you sad sack of shit? Well, guess what, pal? You probably won't put food on the table. Who'd hire me now? At my age, I either live on the street or I die in the fucking gutter. <laughs> Take some responsibility and die alongside me! Ah! Bad idea, old man. One stick of life, your own life is over for good. Shut up! You can never understand how I feel. Never! You're right. I couldn't. Still, murder's not the answer. What's the deal, anyway? Taking this moron side! If you want to start over, hey, there's a key behind me, I think. Oh, wait. No, I think that's a piece of trash. Never mind. <laughs> My excitement is gone. I, well, I can lend you money anyway. Huh? Don't want your damn money! I dare you sell me! Ah, that does it! We'll go down again! Go ahead and blaze of glory! Be a better get ready. I'm about to kick the shit out of you, old man. I'd like to see you try. All right, I'm all about kicking. Here we go. Kick, 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 kick. Come on. Come on, get up. Get up. You okay? You doing all right? You good? Come on. Come on, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Ow, fucker. You okay, buddy? <laughs> I said I can't be one I can't be holding R1 to do the one on the ground. Damn, these guys get fucked up in this game when you beat him up. It's like gushing blood. <laughs> hey. None of this bullshit. We're a dad for more than 30 years. We're good friends. Follow us. And then this. This ignorant moron down on the bases. Ruin it. Company. That company was. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be easy to start over at your age. If you're willing to try, stop by Sky Finance and Ten Kaiji Street. I promise I won't beat your ass then, unless you're a shithead. I'm just a little money lender, but a little money might just be what you need right now. Sky Finance! Drop by anytime. You all along. You do that toss us was the only way to get the company in, in the black. Yep, sure did. Huh? I knew it! Then why? Why? His friends had been with him from the start. The president didn't want to downsize. That was the only way to save his company. And he still couldn't bring himself to do it. So you come here to mull it all over, is that right? That angry old man. Paradise of advertising. I imagine you probably understand this now, but downsizing isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sure, it's not always the ideal, or even the only option, but sometimes you have to do what's best for the company. If you don't, you might end up hurting a lot more people, like that old man. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Akiyama son, did you ask that leaflet company guy to come meet us here? Sure. I'll call him right now. Yes, hello. This is Akiyama from Sky Finance. We say we'd like to talk to you about. Do you just come meet us at the park? You should shut the company down! <laughs> what? 
What is it, Yakiyama-san? Is something wrong? Shibaku wants to talk to you. Huh, well, I almost worked out my father's printing company because I didn't want to downsize and lose all the good people he'd employed over the years. And now your company's in the same position mine was. My apologies this was too forward. But you have to downsize. Yes, I thought as much. My people have been with me since the beginning. I could have just forced them out like that. If the business fails, that's it! Everything's over! All of your employees get hurt! Every last one of them! Every last one of them! Hersh has a tough decision to make, but it's this president's responsibility to protect the company. Akiyama-san? I agree. Downsides is the only option. My heart goes out to you. But it's not. It's got to get better than turning everybody out into the streets. I see. I guess this really is the only way to go, then. I just have one favor to ask of you. This is downsizing does turn your company around. Make sure the people who were forced out get first crack at working for you again. After all, it's those employees who served the company by leaving. And they had all been friends and co-workers for a long time. All right. I promise I will. When I first met you, Shibara-san, I assumed you were nothing more than some half-baked smartass. But now I see that you now that you look out for everyone like a fine, upsetting CEO. I, kn I know it's awfully hard, but we'll do... Well, we've got to do the best we can by our employees. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you very much. I learned a lot from all of this. Paradise Avatars will be back in black soon enough. So let's consider the test passed. Money's yours, provided you're still interested. Yes, I am. I can't give up now. I just don't know what kind of company to build. But I'm going to do my best to make sure it brings happiness to everyone who works there. I can promise you that much. And for right now, that's enough. Here you are then, five million yen. Thank you so much. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Um, that's all I got, but I'd like you to at least have some token of my gratitude. Please send with my thanks. A copy of Memoirs of an Action Star. Oh, is that a uh, blueprint thing? <laughs> sure, why not? Thank you kindly. All right, I'm off. Become a very busy man. Woo wee! I got a bunch of experience points. That was actually a pretty good sub story. <laughs> that was actually. Quite engaging, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hey, I think another one popped back up again. After that, is this, this supposed to be a, this might be a follow-up to the one I just had. Shibara? Oh, Akiyama-san! What are you doing on this side of town? Actually, I'm just on my way to see you! Me? Uh-huh. All right, let's head upstairs then. God damn it, I swear to God, if you spent all that fucking money I gave you, I'm gonna be pissed. So, what can I do for you? Akiyama-san, please make me your apprentice! My... apprentice? Yes, please! Well, this is sudden. Weren't you starting some kind of online company? That's what I figured at first. But when I rarely sat down to think about it, I couldn't come up with anything I wanted to do. So, why become my apprentice? I bet if I stood it under you, I could discover my true calling. That's crazy talk. Figure that out for yourself. Please! I have no intention of taking on an apprentice. And I got this chunky chick over here to deal with. Hey! I'm not asking to be paid, of course. I just want to stay here until I work out what I want to do. Absolutely not. I don't want to waste the five million yen you let me. Please! Please! What's holding you back, Chief? He's already said he's not out for, for money. I don't know. Well, I'm all for it. Thank you, Hanasan. Fine. Really? I'll stop by having you pick up us up some lunch. I could do that. I'll be right back. Okay, guy's gonna fuck this up somehow. You just want him to be your errand boy, don't you? Was it that obvious? Whew! I couldn't eat another bite. By the way, Akiyama-san, why'd you start Sky Finance anyway? Why? Well, frankly, you're not making any money here. I was just wondering, what gave you the idea? What gave me the idea, huh? You really want to know? I do. Might help me give, give me a push. I used to be homeless. Oh, hey, we're getting some, getting some actual, like, lore here. Cool. Did you really? Yeah, I worked at a bank, but with one thing after another, I quit. Ran out of money pretty fast. When was this? About five years ago. Maybe? After I left the bank, I lived on the streets for a while. 
And one day, money came literally flooding down the sky. Five years ago. So this has been five years since the last, since Yakuza 3? Or was it Yakuza 2? I thought it was when Kashiwagi died. And that died, and he died in 3, if I remember right. Really? Money? You didn't hear about that? There was an explosion at the Millennium Tower that blasted billions of yen out into the street. Oh, yeah. I saw it in the news. I ran around like an idiot, but eventually gathered up about a million yen or so. That's how you start your business? Did that chump changed? Nah. You can't even rent an office with that little lay. I was thinking, I was like, did he? Okay, cool. I'm glad they're actually explaining this, because I was wondering, I'm like, how did he? There's no way he could have got enough money to, like, start a, a loan company with just what fell down from the sky. Then what'd you do? I've been in the banking business, so I knew a little bit about finance. I thought, what's the best way to make more? So I went to day trading. What's that? It's basically trading stocks within the course of a single day. You complete a bunch of trades on a day-by-day -day basis, and if it all goes well, you can earn a substantial profit in your sales. It's not all that different from gambling, I suppose. But with a little ex expertise, you can make more than you would on the horses. And did you? Did you really make that million crawl? Well, it was do or die. I scraped up whatever info I could and bought and sold day both day and night. Now everything was strictly legal, however. One bad trade, I would have been done for. But I guess somebody up there was looking out for me. For too long, I made a pretty nice chunk of change. Then I tried future trades and the like. I had a natural talent for it. In any case, the money just kept on multiplying. I made a businessman's salary thousands of times over in only a few short years. God, Jesus Christ. Soon after, I found myself wondering what I should do with it all. Which made me uh, lukewarm on the idea of making more. Did you lose interest in money itself? Nah, I just went from thinking only about how to make money to thinking about how ways to use the money I'd made. And you became an interest-free money letter to help people with their money problems. No, it was more than just wanting to help out people who were strapped for cash. I wanted to see people who lost their money and hit rock bottom work hard to pull themselves back up again, just like I had. And that's how Sky Finance came to be. Did I say what I say? Excuse me, I heard I can get a loan here. That's enough war stories for today. All right, okay. That was actually that was actually very enlightening. I'm glad I heard that. Got surprised it wasn't like in the main story. Let's see what you have to say right this way. Hello, this is me and my dopey son. Now, what can I do for you? Well, my husband's obsessed with gambling. He's got us into a ton of debt, sack of shit. Then he drinks and just becomes so incredibly violent. I got us out of there as soon as I could. I got dug it in the That's terrible. He borrowed all kinds of money under my name, too. And now the loan officer refused to give me the time of day. I heard a rumor that you might be able to help, so here we are. How much did you need? We left with nothing but clothes on our back. Would it be possible to borrow about 500000 for our living expenses? All right. But you have to pass the test before I give you the money. Hi. Yes, I heard about that, too. What would you have me do? You have three hours to find work somewhere in here in Kamarocho. Do that, and the 500000 is yours. It's just free. Only three hours?! You'll find something if you look hard enough. They say we're in a recession, but there's still plenty of work available if you're not too picky. What do you think? Wanna give it a try? Okay, I'll see what I can find. Now, Sutton, walk behind me in perfect unison. Is it really necessary to give her a test? The girl she's been through? If she's serious about the loan, she'll pass it just fine. Uh, where's, where's Noriko? And you are? Um? Wife came here for a loan. Oh, so you're a husband, uh, are you? Ha! Oh. Ah, she was here. Uh-huh. Um? Where is she? Drag her ass out of here right now. I'm sorry, but your wife is now my customer, and I'm not at liberty to divulge information about my customers. Why, you? If you have any complaints, I'd be more than happy to take this outside. It suits me just fine. All right, let's do this, old man. Gonna beat your ass. All right, let's hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. I got nothing to say. Just get Norco out of here now. You looking at your ass feet? Now, see here, pal. Oh, shut the fuck up, will you? Because I'm just got to be beat your ass. 
Beat your head. Fucking ass catch him here. Then suddenly a whole bunch of people show up. Alright, fuck you, you want to die that badly. Come here, come here. Ah, uh, oh, oh, fuck me. Uh, kick, I missed. Uh, kick him in the face. Oh. Ah, shit, fuck me. Damn it. You pay for this. <laughs> wow, I'd run too if I were married to him. Naturally. Does this happen to you, like, regularly? So you get a lot of fights. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> God damn it. Seriously, like, the te low res textures on that jacket of hers. <laughs> For the NPCs, the game. <laughs> the devs are like, ah, fuck it, whatever. No one gives a shit. Any luck? No, nothing. Then I can't lend you the money. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. I stopped at every single place looking for a part time help. They all said I was too old. I tried lots of stores and restaurants, but they told me they had enough help. And? Three hours to find work in Kamarocho? It's just not possible. Did you check the red light district? What? You know, massage parlors, places like that. Somebody as good looking as you should be able to find a willing employer. No problem. I could never work in the sex industry. That's entirely up to you, but you won't get the loan until you pass the test. But I... I really must ask you to leave. Come on, Timmy! Like Yamasan, hasn't she been through enough already? Like I said, I don't give people money just because I feel sorry for them. Still, if she truly wanted a new life for herself, she'd have gone straight into a massage parlor and asked for a job. I won't lend to anyone who's less than serious. You were serious about changing your life, right? And I lent you your money. I helped you because you were sincere. You said you didn't want to waste my five million yen. Are you really looking for a worthwhile way to spend it? Because I can tell you right now, you won't find anything by hanging around me. You're right. You lent me money, so I felt dependent on you. I'll give some more serious thought on exactly what it is I want to do. Are you sure about this, Chief? Give let Shiabara some work here, you know? No, it's better this way. He's a big boy. I'm sure he can figure out his hopes and dreams all by himself. Oh. Oh, there's gonna, there's gonna be more to this. Is it? Hey, I leveled up. Wait for the game to let me pause. Uh, oh, that seems like that might be it for now. I don't see anything new popped up. This is actually a really good series of su uh, sub stories. Uh, not, not to mention the fact that we're just—I'm actually learning about Akiyama too, which is pretty dope. All right, I guess we'll go and get this then. For those who master the art of taunting, increase the rate in which heat gaze rises when taunting. All right, guys, seems like a good spot to end things here for now. I don't know if I'm going to be continuing with sub stories or next episode or not. I mean, we we haven't even gotten to the fucking plot of the game yet, so it feels like it might be a little early to be doing that. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin. A boy this cell P, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.